Merchant Account is a section in your merchant office where you can register your merchant profiles. First, let's clarify what a merchant profile is. The merchant profile is the profile to which you can assign your deals. This also acts as your merchant account from which you will run your deals. Let's go through the merchant profile registration form step by step. The form allows for input in both English and Chinese. You can enter your information in both languages or choose just one of them. If you don't understand English, you can enter your information in your native language. On top of your form, you will notice a status, new. This means that the merchant profile you are trying to register is new and has not been submitted for approval by our merchant administration department. The first step of your merchant profile registration form is choosing the name of your merchant profile. This name is like your business username that will be displayed on your deals. If you are a registered company, this can be your company name or a made-up name that users will recognize you by. Step 2 is the description. Put more effort into this section because it will later appear on all of your deals published from this merchant profile in the business description of the seller paragraph. If you are an individual seller, include some information about yourself, what you do for a living and why you are registered on DealShaker. For example, I am an aspiring artist who wants to sell his paintings and promote his art. In my spare time I draw, but I work as a landscaper to make a living. You can visit my website and check out the rest of my artistic work and supply a link. If you are a registered business or company, include as many details about your business as you feel is important. Your business description will help you build an image and will attract more buyers to your deal. Moving forward with step 3, choosing your merchant type. There are currently two types available. Individual sellers. Select this merchant type if you do not have a registered business or company, but want to promote and offer services or products to the DealShaker users. Registered businesses. Select this merchant type if you have a registered business or company and want to reach out to new potential clients. The DealShaker platform can benefit you by attracting new potential clients to your business. Once clients visit your business and exchange their deal coupon for your services or products, it is up to you to convert them to loyal, long-term customers. Notice that when you choose the registered business or company, two more fields will appear in the form – VAT and company registration number. This information will not be published and will be preserved only in your personal account information. However, the company registration number is a mandatory field for every company that wishes to promote through the DealShaker platform. Website URL It is important that you make it easy for potential customers to get to know you and find you easily. Whether you are an individual seller or a registered business, include your website if you have one. This will help merchant administrators approve your profile quicker and gain a better perspective of the type of deals that you will want to publish in the future. Address and phone details. Make sure they are correct. Double check them as DealShaker monitors merchants on a weekly basis by randomly selecting and checking provided information in your merchant profile or address book. Unverified information might result in the termination of your profile permanently and deactivation of your active deals. If you need to edit your merchant profile information, make sure you do that in a timely manner. If you are currently promoting a deal through your merchant profile and need to edit your merchant profile details, please write to the Merchant Administration Department, providing your username and the information about the profile you want edited. This will help speed up the process, otherwise you will have to wait until the coupon's expiration date. The last field is a common question. What deals are you interested in running through DealShaker? You can write in free text here. The point is to show what deals you want to publish. Include as many details as you want. That will help the merchant administrators to understand your needs and objectives for using DealShaker. You can also use examples here. 
After you have filled in all the required fields, press the Save Changes button to send your information to the Merchant Administration Department. The status will change to Pending after you do that. Approval or further revisions should be received in the next 10 business days after submission.